You know, the Leafs play in a few hours. I think I'm gonna one take this video. But dude, you never let me in one take videos. Well, what do you call this? Well, this. Whoa. Woo! Move in my car! Are you just gonna get hammered? Get me a toaster. Magic Angel Robot from Winnipeg! What the hell are you talking about? This team is ruining my life! Oh boy, are we doing this? Are we doing this? Let's try it! Leafs win! 3-1 over the Tampa Bay Lightning, and like angels in the outfield, ladies and gentlemen, can we now say the Toronto Maple Leafs are on a winning streak? Holy crap! Holy crap! Listen, against Ottawa was one thing, and anyone can win one game, even though Ottawa needed to win that one badly. Beating Tampa? Okay, now I'm starting to get a little worried, okay? I'm happy they won and everything, um, but, but, but the tank battle, guys, rem remember that? You don't remember that? Oh god. Oh god, Eric Brewer remembers that. I'm just kidding, that was mean. That was, that was mean. But, here's the thing. Yes, the Leafs kind of need to tank to get a better draft pick, but let me read some stuff to you. Let me read some stuff to you, because the tank effort was getting a little out of hand. The Leafs had the longest stretch without a lead in franchise history. And you might go, wait, but they won last game. Yes, they did, in overtime. They never had the lead, except for when they won. Uh, the... 14-15 Toronto Maple Leafs, this year's Toronto Maple Leafs, did not have a lead for 541 minutes and 8 seconds! Ah! They won two games in a row for the first time since February. Um, look, I'm all for, for the tank. That's egregious. <laughs> That's a bit of a problem. Uh, you know what's not a bit of a problem? Nazem Kadri standing in front, tipping in the Leafs' first goal. That's not a problem. That's, a, that's an honest goal. That's an okay goal for Lightning goalie Andrea Vasilevsky to let in. The one that wasn't so good, the David Booth goal. Holy smoke, stinky regatta cheese. Regatta? Ricotta? Ricotta. Ricotta cheese. That was brutal. Uh, and that is what I think... I don't want to say that's what put the game away, obviously, because then Ryan Callahan scores for the Lightning after Reimer makes an amazing save. save. Terrible defensive coverage in front of him. Unfortunately, Tampa gets back into the game. Then... And the reason I can't fully ever... I can't ever fully commit to the tank. God, Morgan Riley's so good. And God, Morgan Riley's gonna be so good. Mm, I keep saying, you know what? How long until we talk about Morgan Riley being the best player of the 2012 draft? Screw that. Leave that all behind because we can have that debate literally until he retires and long after he retires. He's really good. And that's all that's important. He's really good and he's only going to get better. Sexiest, oh my god, wrist shot. He's just got so much speed, so much skill. You saw him on the mic. You saw him before the game juggling the stick. This guy, there's, he's fine. Earlier in the season I was talking about, you know, he seems really frazzled by all the losing. And there were, are times where it seemed like it was getting to him. This guy's going to be okay. I don't quite know what it is, but it's going to be okay. Now. Let's talk about the reason the Leafs won, I think, or a big reason why the Leafs won. James Reimer. Holy crap. Uh, you listen to this stat from David Alter. Stats only go back to the 1980s, but Leafs leaders in wins, sorry, Leafs leaders in 40-plus save wins in that span are, so this, these are goalies who have the most wins with 40 or more saves. James Reimer has 12. Jonathan Bernier has 11. Which is amazing because he's been here for less time than James Reimer. Felix Potvin has 11. So Felix Potvin, who was a Leaf for a big chunk of my childhood, doesn't even have as many 40-plus save wins as James Reimer. What? What? This guy just gets shelled every time he plays. And Bernier is worse because he hasn't even been a Leaf as long. Anyway, amazing effort by James Reimer and Leafs pick up. I was going to say two points, but that's bad. But they pick up a win, which is the same thing. But for some reason, I'm better with the win than the two points. But here, I'm not going to just go, Oh, James, oh, oh, it's just amazing, and Optimus, and the mask, and everything. Uh, I, we need Jonathan Bernier to be happy, guys. Because there's been this talk about trading him. I've suggested it. I don't think the Leafs could possibly get fair value for Bernier. And he seems to really not be loving life right now. You know, he said some pretty negative things to reporters. He's a good goalie. I think the Leafs need to make sure he stays that way. 
and he stays a Toronto Maple Leaf, and he's a restricted free agent at the end of the year. What do you think is going to happen to Jonathan Bernier? That is the question of the game. I'm going to leave you alone now because the Leafs are going to play the Buffalo Sabres tonight, and I mean, you know how important of a game that is, right? <laughs> no.